This is the Dactyl Mechanical Calculator from 1897. In 1892, when Grima, Natalis, and Co. obtained the rights to sell Oldner machines, France was not included in those rights. So as a backdoor into the country, Brunswick machine parts were brought in where they were rebranded as dactyl calculators and sold by Octave Rochefort. Brunswick eventually obtained the rights. Here's a Brunswick machine. At that point, Chateau Fredes started making their own calculators, which were merely clones of the previous Brunswickas. The biggest giveaway was that the dactyl machine had SUS, abbreviation for division. When Rochefort wanted to sell his calculators in America, his go-to was Rodney Marchant. My calculator was one such device. Of course, Marchant would later get in trouble for cloning this device, which was a clone of Brunswick's. The dactyl is a typical early pinwheel. It's uh, significantly bigger than later devices. It's big and clunky and takes big arm movements to turn the crank. My bell is a little anemic from a malfunction. The biggest surprise to me was that it has no anti-reverse safety. So you can spin it all around and then go right back. In fact, Clearing used, utilizes this. Fortunately, Chateau Fredes was nice enough to include a plate to prevent hair entanglement. So I felt comfortable letting my lovely assistant demonstrate. I will demonstrate how to add 25 to 10. Now I will subtract 5. The big size and simplicity really allow the mechanism to be appreciated. I like these early robust mechanical calculators. While they don't have all the features of later devices, their simplicity makes them charming. 